what I did was I shredded one and a half cups of carrots, which for me was about three large carrots, and there was a little bit left over, and I've just got that in the refrigerator. I thought it'd be good on a salad or something. You have to get all the water out of the carrots. They have a lot of water. We're going to be making taco shells out of shredded carrots. I kid you not. It's my next paper towel. I'm going to go ahead and get my carrot on here. One and a half cups of carrots shredded. This is pretty dry. But I'm just going to set it aside and let it continue to dry on its own. And I'm going to get some All right, let's get our attachment on here. We're going to add five tablespoons of rolled oats. Three, four, five. And we are going to let her rip. There's some powder going on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sift it, I think. I'll just go ahead and grab my little sifter here. Remember, I only need three tablespoons. I'm going to get a little dish for my... It'll be two of these. This is a tablespoon and a half right here. Oh yeah, plenty. Okay. I just turned on my oven to uh, just under 400 degrees. I mean, just really, literally a tad under. It's supposed to be at about 492. Yeah, you could do 400. 490 degrees or 200 degrees Celsius. Right now I'm going to beat the heck out of my eggs. First. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add in my carrot. Sorry, I should probably turn it this way so you can see. Now I'm going to shred my cheese. So I'll be right back. Up. You're supposed to cook the carrots, and I didn't. Oh my gosh, I wonder what will happen if I don't. They were supposed to be cooked. I completely spaced that out. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, cooking it. Probably watery mess. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to shred some cheese. Alright, little blooper. The carrots were supposed to be cooked first for like three minutes and then, then, then squeezed of the liquid. This may be the blooper video of the year. Anyways, I am going to see what happens if I put them in here. Anyway. <laughs> this should be really good. Okay, I had these in for about 19 minutes. They held together. I think they're going to be okay. So, let's make something with with these here. I did take a little bite. It's delicious. Okay, I've got some butter melting here. And I also have over here, I have some meatballs that I had made. And I've got three eggs and I've got one meatball chopped up in there. I also have some cheese here. I'm going to go ahead and add that cheese. This is two different kinds of cheese. It's about a quarter of a cup. This is going to make two of my little carrot tortillas here. Okay, three eggs might have been way too much for two. I think one egg for each tortilla. Plenty. Okay. Let's go ahead and put one on here. the 
next one on. I had some cheese here for the topping. I'm going to put a little cheese on. There you go. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Very good. Really, really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm going to be making these a lot. These are my new go-to tortillas. Forget the bread ones. Mm -mm -mm. These are the bomb. Thanks for watching.